Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to another scripting tutorial. This tutorial, I will be teaching you how replicated storage works. So you may have been wondering what this little thing in the corner is called replicate storage. It's pretty much, it's an area where you store scripts and parts, stuff you only want to use at a certain time, and you can transfer them to another place using scripts. So it can be used for tools, parts that you only want to appear at a certain time, stuff like that. So a good example would be, let's say we want this part to fall out of the sky only when we click another part. So let's just fly this up right here. And then we can name this flying part. Make sure there's no space in between as sometimes scripts get confused by that. Anyways, so now we can just chuck in replicate storage and it should disappear. So it's not usable right now. And then we can make it appear if we put another part. So the script we would do is, obviously we do a click detector. If you haven't seen our click detector functions video, I recommend checking that out. And we can do a script. So in the script, we can just write a simple function, which would be script.parent. Click detector dot mouse click connect function parentheses and then an end should follow. Now here's our script where we transfer things. So in reality, we're not going to be transferring it, but rather creating a new one. So to do that, we would reference it first, saying game dot replicated storage dot um flying part should show up. I'm not sure why. I think it might have to do with the name. So let me just... Or actually, an easier way to show you guys would just be if I insert a tool here. Let's name this to handle as it's m used m more often for tools. A good way to show you is just make a tool and let's name this demo. Now, now it should work. Replicate storage dot demo. Um, now dot or we do two parentheses clone. I'm actually not sure why that's not working. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. I had put in the wrong one, so make sure it's always in replicated storage as they both have the same icon and it's really easy to get confused. So just make sure that is there and then now it should pop up easy and then you can put a colon and clone should pop up which just creates a new one. Now we need to set the parent of the clone, so you can do clone, two parentheses pop up, dot parent is equal to and now we want to do where it is. So we can do game.workspace. So it's now going to get transferred to the workspace. So now we can close out the script. Make sure to save it if you're working on a game for this. And now if we go in, wait for it to load. Now we have our part that we click then the flying part should fall down. So we can go here. Now when we click it, he falls and we can pick it up and now we have a tool. And then we can click it again, another one will fall down. And you can pretty much just spam this as many times as you want. And now we have like an infinite number of parts just falling from the sky. It's actually used a lot in lag test games. But anyways, and then you can pick it up. So that's it for this tutorial, and hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please comment down below ideas for a new video, and like and subscribe. Bye.